<clears throat> hey everyone, welcome to another episode of That's All Funny. Episode number, uh, I don't know, what is it, 661? We're doing it, guys, we're doing it. Um, no, just here chilling. Uh, I woke up, man, my hair. My hair, my hair is so different. The colors of a loneliness. You are by my side. Nah, that's I think that's a Jelly Hooker song, something about my hair. Um, I woke up went kind of a frenzy because uh like I don't know, I always get up like I set my alarm super early but never wake up. I snooze the shit out of it. So I'm just snoozing it for hours. And I never sleep properly, right? That's just me being, I don't know, a piece of shit, I guess, right? Just <laughs> trying to wake up early but don't. And they end up not sleeping well because my alarm is waking me up every 15 minutes. So I can't get back into that REM. Uh, 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 don't feel the reaper. Don't feel the... No, it's Bullish Triple. That's the REM. Uh, it's the end of the world as you know it. It's it's the end of the world as you know it. And I feel fine. No, I don't feel fine. So I... um kept snoozing my alarm and finally like i kind of got up checked my uh my sales on ebay or whatever and i checked my email i didn't get any sales on ebay but i checked my email and it says i changed my uh pre- my my contact preferences on ebay and i was like what the fuck like uh i didn't do this so i i check and i log on to my on my pc i log on to my ebay Changed my passwords, changed my um, fucking uh, two factor authorization, blah, 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 right? Just to, because I'm like, oh, fuck, someone. It, 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 I looked at, at where it was located and it said California. I was like, those fucking faggots in California, but it could be anywhere, you know, because of uh, fucking VPNs and shit. But I looked and they had changed the phone number of, uh, my phone number like they were trying to get me to uh you know do some sort of two-factor shit so i just changed the phone number back but i'm looking i'm like is that all they changed why did they just change my phone number it's very weird and uh yeah so i was able to do that and tried to contact ebay but they uh were just a bunch of uh automated messages so i'm like no fuck this like i'm pretty sure all they changed was my phone number and I don't know why, but I just changed passwords. And now I'll just keep an eye because I'm, again, I'm neurotic uh, like that. So I'll just keep an eye on my emails to see if they change any other passwords. Because now uh, I'm thinking if they do have that password, of course, we use the same password for everything uh, like we do, I think. So I have to change every single password. <laughs> we'll see, right? At least it's on my eBay account. But. Uh, that's what I had to go through this morning, waking up, uh, you know, changing my preferences or whatever it says it is, but let's check the news. That's, that was my pain in the butt this morning. Uh, my annoyance, uh, let's see here. Trump challenges Biden to another debate this week and golf match during Florida rally. And dude, Trump's, Trump's rallies are just like huge, huge, huge they're just huge events now like like they're like wwe to the events that biden has that are the aw matches where there's nobody there everybody's quiet and biden just they're like oh 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 you know but um it's just funny that trump is challenging biden to another debate but you know biden's not gonna do it because he just got his ass beat in the other debate like not even by trump just by his own doing he got his ass beat and uh to where everyone was considering like his own uh constituents and his own like party was telling him hey maybe you should you know not be president anymore you know it was was pretty bad uh and then to challenge him in a golf match i mean that's just cruel Uh, (laughs) i don't know if uh Biden can barely walk upstairs or do anything like that, let alone golf. So it's uh, 
I don't know. I don't know what to think other than like uh, this is pretty hilarious. And uh, if it does happen, that'd be great. It, it, I think they could do it for charity for here in America, some sort of veteran thing. But of course, Biden's just going to get his butt kicked uh, on both fronts because just off of that very first debate, you know, it was pretty bad. Unless they do like a second debate and someone from uh, Biden's camp shoots like a tranquilizer dart from a blowgun arrow at Trump and hits him in the neck. Uh, that's the only way I could see them winning this, you know. That's the only way. The only way I could see them winning this. More here on the news. Sharon Stone says she lost $18 million of savings when people took advantage of her after she suffered a stroke in 2001. Very odd story to bring up now that we're in 2024. Uh of a story from 2001 to the news but man 18 million you know my mom my mom's here right now if i haven't uh you haven't been listening uh to the other episodes my mom has stayed with me unfortunately i i do not uh like her at all she's a piece of shit to me i hate her but you know whatever my sister wants to take care of her or whatever she had a stroke and i wish i wish she had had money to uh, <laughs> for me to take advantage of, but she did not. She uh, is not a person that saves money. She actually spends money. Uh, she would spend a lot of my money. Uh, I like telling the story um, where I had a truck. I love that Chevy. Uh, what was it? A Chevy S10, a, bl a dark blue one. I loved it. I loved that truck so much. Uh, single cab nice and tiny long bed the bed was really long but anyway it had a problem with the head gasket it would always blow and then i would drive really fast too so but i was a kid right anyway uh one day the head gasket blew again and my mom was like oh um let me take it to go get repaired okay i found someone off craigslist to go get it repaired okay mom so she um takes it to go get repaired she's like it's going to be thirteen hundred dollars to repair the head gasket i'm like okay let me rustle up thirteen hundred bucks so i rustled up thirteen hundred bucks gave it to her and uh she's like okay and then uh she didn't speak of it for like days and after so many days finally i was like hey did that guy ever repair my my uh head gasket and she's like oh no i sold your truck and also what you sold my truck I'm like well where's the head gasket buddy uh i'd i'd use it and i'm like oh okay but okay well where's the money that you used to where's the money that you got from selling the truck i had to use that too i paid a bill and that was it. So now I was out a truck and thirteen hundred dollars, and I was just like, "What? What? Like, the fuck do I do? You know?" <laughs> like, so I had to start taking the bus from there, and eventually, I don't know, you know, eventually my sister like showed up and helped me uh, finance a car. But yeah, that was that was just like the loss of my truck, and that was just like what. So, yeah, these are things I hold against my mom. Uh, there's a lot of other stories, random stories, of me having to deal with that shit. But that was one of the ones where I was like, what? You, you, well, where's the money for this? I used it. Okay, well, where's the money for that then? Oh, I used it too. And I just couldn't question it because it was my mother. You know, and you're supposed to love your mother like the commandments say. But I was like, uh, no, not anymore not not i've already paid back my birth and then some uh which my mom didn't even give give birth to me i was ex extracted uh because it was a c-section so she didn't even give birth to me so i don't know her for that but i i wish <laughs> my mom did have a stroke no no i don't wish it she did have a stroke but i would do wish my mom had money so that i could take advantage of her, her stroke <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the point of this story right uh that she had no money you know so there's no taking advantage of her but speaking of um 
uh, what is it, you know, medical things. And lastly, here on the docket, second patient to receive pig kidney transplant dies. Uh, yeah, if it was this woman, the 54-year-old New Jersey resident was the first patient to receive both a mechanical heart pump and an organ transplant after suffering from heart and kidney failure. She does not look uh, the healthiest person to do this. A New Jersey woman, the second person ever to receive a transplanted gene-edited pig kidney, has died nearly three months after organ transplant surgery. Uh, she died Sunday after her transplanted kidney was removed due to poor blood flow from heart medications. That's a shame, but at the same time, uh, I guess you should just be taking care of yourself. And then what do you expect from a pig kidney? <laughs> That's what I say. Um, hopefully she had a nice little run with those three months. You know, uh, I wouldn't want another person's body part in, in let alone another pig i feel like uh there's those things where when you get a person's heart transplant you start like feeling their emotions that they had so uh if you had a pig's kidney you'd start like oinking and wanting to eat slop and stuff like that but you know uh that's just some scooby-doo shit probably right i don't know i don't know i don't like scooby-doo i don't like my mom all I could say is um, to the podcast is uh, that's all funny, guys. I don't think you really seen the podcast. That's all funny. Everybody where podcasts are available. That's all funny. I've got a podcast from a buddy Gabe called That's All Cave Fame. We're talking about wrestling. Check that out every Monday. That's all Cave Fame. Where podcasts are available. Uh, you can grab Kids and Areolas with Mint Salad. That's available anywhere podcasts are available. Just search Tits and Areolas with Mint Salad or just search uh, Areolas with Mint Salad. You'll find it. Uh, I do live shows like this and uh, or recorded shows like this, video format, uh, other podcasts, stuff like that on the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash at Lorenzo Ariola. Uh, you know, different content there and also a live show with the wonderful Men's Salad, like I just said, called Tits and Ariolas. It's every Tuesdays, 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern, where we talk about a movie, we watch, uh, play a little game. It's fun. She's beautiful. I'm a piece of shit. You should check that out. Uh, it's great. It's fun. Uh, check out the Patreon if you want to help support the podcast. Patreon.com slash Lorenzo Ariola. And uh, yeah, check me out at, at Lorenzo Ariola on Twitter and Instagram uh, for, you know, anything. If you want to uh, talk to me there or whatever. If you want to commission some art from a great artist, check out at Retro Horror Inc. on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, thank you to my Patreon subscribers. Everyone else, like and subscribe. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.